We begin with that breaking news. Cardinal Stretch University is closing. The school president says that this semester will be the last after more than 85 years. Mary McCarr live on campus in Fox Point with the university's reasoning and the reaction from students tonight. Mary. University President Dan Schultz sent out a pre-recorded message around 5 o'clock this afternoon saying after examining all options, this decision was, quote, necessary. Now, as you can imagine, this came as a major shock to students on campus here who now have a month to figure out what's next. So right now I'm like, I don't even know what am I going to do? Like, I don't even know what's going to be in my future. Like Carla Sastra is a foreign exchange student from Spain and a member of the women's soccer team. During what was supposed to be a typical practice, she and her teammates were told life-changing news. We were like, is, is this really happening? Like, are they going to just tell us that it's all a joke or something? Monday, University President Dan Schultz citing declining enrollment and lingering effects of the pandemic as factors in the decision to close the school's doors for good. The fiscal realities, downward enrollment trends, the pandemic, the need for more resources, and the mounting operational and facility challenges presented a no-win situation. In the end, it was determined that we could no longer continue to provide the high-quality educational experiences our students rightly deserve. She said the closure is devastating for her and nearly 40 other exchange students who are not only saying goodbye to a school, but a team that turned into family. Everyone was talking with their parents, like everyone was here, like everyone was just crying, because like, what, what are you going to do? Like you're in a different place, different country, like uh, you have you have made a lot of friends and everything and now everything is like destroyed. It, it didn't hit me until I was like saying like it's okay team and then I was like oh it's like we're not a team anymore. Junior Noah Clemens said that he was surprised the school made the decision to close this soon. I was shocked it happened this year mm -hmm. and not necessarily like years down the road. Clemens saying the tight knit community is what made the school so special. A lot of the people here just really love I think each other. Everything changes in life so just make sure that you appreciate it while you have it. There are about 208 faculty members and just over 1,300 students enrolled at this university. 47% of those are Pell Grant recipients. Now, President Scholl did say that there will be a final commencement ceremony happening on May 21st, but until then, a lot of changes are coming for those who are learning and working at this university. Steve, Shannon, back to you. Tough news for so many people. Miriam, thank you. The school president says they will offer some classes over the summer to students who are close to graduating. He says Stritch is also finalizing partnerships with other local universities to help students who want to transfer.